Hello and welcome to vlog number 56. I've come across a number of online articles about low dose naltrexone or LDN being taken by people with Parkinson's along with claims that it miraculously improves symptoms and appears to halt progression. Naltrexone is an FDA approved drug for the treatment of opioid addiction. It works by blocking opioid receptors in the brain which at the dosages recommended for opioid addiction between 50 mg and 300 mg cause the side effects of depression, insomnia, irritability and loss of feelings of pleasure all as a result of its endorphin blocking properties. Endorphins are the hormones produced naturally in the body that opioids closely resemble. Due to these side effects physicians largely stop prescribing it for addiction. Dr. Bahari, who was part of a team running programs for the treatment of opioid addiction, then turned his attention to other possible applications for the drug, focusing upon the HIV AIDS epidemic at the time, and particularly looking at ways to strengthen the immune system. There is a body of research that points towards natural endorphins playing a central role in the function of the immune system. He and his research colleagues discovered that at low dosages, 5 mg and below, Administration of naltrexone caused the body to boost natural endorphin production. The team were considering the efficacy of naltrexone on a variety of different conditions, including Parkinson's disease, which is obviously what caught my attention. The website www.lowdosenaltrexone.org states that because LDN clearly helps progression in multiple sclerosis, its use has been more recently extended to other neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's disease, whose etiology remains unknown but for which there is suggestive evidence of a possible autoimmune mechanism. In respect to Parkinson's disease, the website reports in a section entitled Recent Developments, but citing research from 2003, that Dr. Bahari reported on a small group of seven PD patients in his practice all of whom had shown no signs of disease progression since beginning LDN. Two members of the group had shown clear evidence of improvement in signs and symptoms. There is a fair amount of information available on the internet, and I could make an extremely long vlog on the subject, but I'll leave you to have a dig around online if the subject interests you. Much of the information on the web originates from the USA, although I have come across some posts on the Parkinson's UK website. These posts are from 2010, however, so not exactly recent. I'm very interested in taking LDN, but I really want some guidance and information from other people with Parkinson's who have tried or are currently trying it. I intend to question my doctor to see what, if anything, he knows about it and to see if he would be prepared to prescribe it off-label for me. I will keep you posted on any developments, but I would really appreciate feedback from anyone who has experience of LDN. Leave me a message here on YouTube, or send me an email at email at dbsacompletenobrainer.co.uk Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Wishing you a very happy new year. See you next Friday.